If you want to create a camera flash effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, this tutorial is for you. I will show you the easiest way, so let's recreate this effect fast. Okay, we have these two clips here in the timeline and we want to create a camera flash transition between these two clips. So first of all, make a gap here that is one second long. To do this, you can click on the right arrow on your keyboard to jump one frame to the right side and then drag the right clip here to the beginning of the cursor. Let's zoom a bit in. You can do this by dragging this line here on the bottom. Okay, now jump two frames to the left by clicking the left arrow on your keyboard and make a cut right here by clicking C on your keyboard to select the razor tool or select the razor tool here at the toolbar. Go to the second clip, jump two frames to the right and set a cut. To jump back to the selection tool, you can click the V on your keyboard or you can jump back to the selection tool here in the toolbar. Now let's go to the effects. Open the video effects tab and go to the generate folder. And here you will find the lens flare effect. Now drag and drop the lens flare effect here on these two frames here of the first clip. Bring the cursor here to the beginning. Select this cut and jump to the effect controls here on the left side. Make sure that the lens type is 50 to 300 millimeter and change the flare brightness here to yeah, let's say to 20, 20%. 20 Change the flare center. Bring this here in the middle of the lens. Yeah, to something like this. Now set your first keyframe by clicking here on this timer icon at flare brightness. Jump one frame forward to the right side by clicking the right arrow on your keyboard and change the flare brightness to, yeah, let's say to 180. And as you can see, Premiere Pro automatically created the second keyframe right here. Bring the cursor here to the end, select this one, and now you can drag this keyframe here to the end. Make a right click here on this clip and say copy. Now bring the cursor here to the beginning of the second clip. Make a right click and say paste attributes. Make sure that you copy the lens flare effect. OK. Now go to the effect controls and change the direction of the keyframes. So bring the second keyframe to the beginning and for sure the first keyframe to the end. Now we will fill the gap here with a white color mat. Therefore go to File, New, Color Mat. Make sure that the video settings match with your sequence settings. Okay, this is a full HD sequence. Make a white color mat, hit on OK. Jump to your project window. Now you will find the color mat right here. Drag and drop this above. Cut your color mat to fill the gap. Jump back to the selection tool and delete the rest here on the left side and on the right side. Drag the right color mat here between these two clips. And now you have this nice effect here. But to step up this effect and make it more pop, jump to this cut here on the second clip and export a frame by clicking here on this photo icon. Here you can choose your path where you want to save your exported frame and make sure that you import it into your project. Hit on OK. Now you will find this frame here in your project window. Drag and drop this one and make this cut maybe, yeah, maybe 12 frames long. Set a cut, delete the rest, 
drag the clip here to the end. And now we have more of this photo vibe. And for sure on top use a camera flash sound effect. Yeah, nice. Really like this one. I've downloaded this camera flash sound here for free at Pixabay. I will leave a direct link in the description below. I hope that helps and maybe you're interested in another tutorial where I show you how you can recreate film grain in Adobe Premiere Pro. So make sure to watch the next video and hear you soon, Felix the Creator.